Hey guys, so I recently came back from Japan and I actually went to Japan last year as well and like last time, I did purchase some squishies so I thought I would do a haul and show you everything that I got so yeah, let's just get started So the first city in Japan that I went to was Osaka and I wasn't really on the hunt for squishies there but I did end up going to the Rilakkuma store and it was kind of in this underground mall so it was a little hard to get to but once I found it, I did find a few squishies there So the first squishies that I saw here were these cornets, and I had never seen them before, so I don't know if they're rare or not, but I decided to get them. They're not super slow rising, but they are just on the softer side. So here's the yellow one. And here's the gray one. And the last couple squishies I found were these Sumiko Garashi squishies. So I found this gray one, and I also found a tan one. Here's the gray cat character, which I don't know the name of, so I apologize. But as you can see, it's very slow rising. And here's the little brown guy. And his packaging is pretty crumpled, but all of the packaging there for this squishy was pretty crumpled as well. And the next place I was off to was Kyoto, and in one of their more famous shopping districts, I did find a bunch of capsule machines, and particularly, I found this squishy cake roll capsule machine, which I knew I had to get. So here it is. I haven't opened it yet, but as you can see, it's just kind of crushed inside. So this is taking a really long time to decompress. It is pretty slow rising and it smells really nice like vanilla, but yeah, it's just kind of stuck in this shape for a while, which I kind of expected because it was stuffed in that little capsule. Then I went to the Kiyomizu Dera temple. I know I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. But along the streets on the way up to the temple, I found this store that was selling these mochi squeeze toys. And I wasn't really expecting to find anything in this area because it's very touristy. So yeah, I was pretty surprised. And they wrapped them in this really nice paper. So they both had the same tag. And the green one squeezes out this orange colored filling. And the pink one squeezes out this white filling. And then on the way down, I walked into another store. And I actually found a Minion Banana Squishy, which I didn't end up getting, but it was really cute and it had a Minion charm and everything. And it also had a Mochi Squeeze toy, which was slightly different from the other ones, because it had a different tag and it had a bell and a bite mark. And they also wrapped it in some paper, which was really nice. So here is the Squeeze toy, and it squeezes out this red bean filling. Super adorable. And here is the tag. The next thing I got was another squeeze toy, so I'm sorry for all the squeeze toys that I'm showing. But this one is actually the same as the green and pink one. I just got this one to complete the collection, so as you can see, there are three colors. This one squeezes out the same filling as the green color. Now these are the last squeeze toys, I promise. And I found these at the Odawara slash Hakone souvenir shop at the transit station. So there are these little baggies which are super cute and I guess they give these out to wrap every item in. But regardless, here is the green onsen bun. And this is what the tag looks like for all of them. Here's a pink one which comes with a red bell. Same red bean filling. Here's the coffee bun with a green bell. And here's the black one. But this one comes with yellow filling instead. So after Hakone, which has a lot of onsens and hot springs, which is why they have onsen buns, I went to Tokyo and I visited Asakusa, which has the Sensoji Temple. And along the streets, I did find one squishy. So it is just this takoyaki, which I thought was really cute. And it was pretty inexpensive as well, I believe 300 yen. And it's not slow rising, but it is airy. 
After that, I went to Harajuku, which I actually visited last summer as well, and that's where I bought a bunch of squishies. So I also went to the same places here. The first place that I went to was the Sierra Tan Seal store, which sells a bunch of mother garden squishies. And like last time, I did buy a bunch of squishies here. But the first thing that I got was this, I guess like a fruit sandwich or something. I don't know, but I just thought it was really cute and it is slow rising. And then I got this mini onigiri, which I just thought was super adorable. I got this pig donut. This one is super airy. I got these marshmallows, and I believe these come individually wrapped inside, which is pretty cool. And finally, I got this fried chicken, which I just thought was really cool, so I couldn't pass it up. And here's what it looks like. It is pretty textured, but it's not like the most realistic or anything. But it is pretty slow rising. The next place I went to was the iBloom store, and like last time, I actually didn't buy anything just because I thought the prices were so expensive. And they're actually just about the same as what you would find online, but I think after going to the Sierra Tan Seal store, everything in the iBloom store just seemed way more expensive in comparison. So yeah, I didn't buy anything, but I did film for you guys to show you everything there. Ooh, they, have still, they sell gold bars? After that, I went to Harajuku Tokyo Sugar High, and it's not actually a standalone store, so you might have trouble finding it if you go to Harajuku. It's actually located inside of a bigger building with a bunch of stores around it, and it has the Disney store up above it. But this place had a bunch of squishies that I had never seen before, so I was pretty excited and I decided to pick up a few. So the first thing I got was this Koala March Biscuit, and this is actually by Nick. It actually feels a lot firmer than I thought it would be, but it's still very slow rising and also pretty glossy. And in the store there was this rotating rack of a bunch of mini squishies, and there were so many different colors and styles and designs that it was really hard to choose, so I decided to get a little bit of everything. I got these two cupcakes, so here's the panda one. And here's a dog, I believe. I also got these two donuts, so here's a purple cat, and here's, I guess, another dog. And I also got these mini lollipops, so here's the blue heart one. It's actually pretty slow rising for being so thin. And here's the pink star. And finally, I got this huge lollipop, which I had never seen before, so I just decided to get it. And it was only around $12, which I think is pretty reasonable for this big of a squishy. And apparently it's from J-Dream, so it is pretty slow rising. The next day, I went to Kitty Land in Shibuya, and they had a bunch of squishies there, like Eye Bloom, and they had Cafe Dien, Snoopy squishies, Gudetama, and Sanrio items. But I only got two things there, and I'm really excited for what I got. So they had this Moni Moni animal section, and they had a few out on display, and they felt so nice, just like super gummy, and I don't know, they just have a really cool texture. So I really wanted to get one, and they had so many different characters that I found it really hard to choose. But I ultimately decided to get this pom-pom pudding one. As you can see, the packaging is super adorable. 
and it was 1600 yen, so quite expensive, but uh, I just really wanted one, so. so it's really tiny as you can see, but it's so adorable. And according to the licensing, it was made in 2016. The final squishy I found was in this Kirby section, and it is this Kirby Butter Toast, which is actually, I think, my favorite squishy that I got in my entire haul. I just love it so much. And I also found these King DDD Chigiri breads, which were pretty interesting. I didn't get any of them, but yeah, there they are. But yeah, here it is, this Kirby Bakery Butter Toast. And it also comes with a star acrylic charm. On my final day in Japan, I visited Venus Fort in Odaiba, Tokyo, and they have a Team Lab borderless exhibit, which is super cool. It's a pretty popular tourist destination, so you have to wait a really long time in line, but I would say the visit is definitely worth it. And in the mall, I went to Seria, which is like a chain of 100 yen stores, although I actually ended up spending 108 yen on each item. So I got these three pastries, which as you can see are all part of the set. So here's the toast. The waffle and the bread roll and I also got these onsen buns so here's the white one and here's the pink one and within the same mall I surprisingly found a mother garden outlet and they had a few squishies that I didn't see in the Harajuku location so I was pretty excited about that and I decided to pick a few up So here's the bag, which is super cute. So these were originally 580 each, but if you buy three items, then it's 1300 in total. So I did get three items. The first one is this acorn. The second one is also an acorn, but it's got a different style. And finally, I got this zero tan seal dongo. So here are all the squishies that I got in Japan, and before I end the video, I do have a small announcement. So I got this shipment of tomatoes a while ago, but the reason it said that these were out of stock on my website was because they all came with some kind of manufacturing flaws, like little dents and imprints and things like that. Nothing too major, but I just didn't know if I should sell them. But at the same time, I feel like it would be a waste for them to just sit here, so I decided to list them at a discounted price. So if you're still interested, I have linked them in the description box. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye!